What is up, Post Falls? Woo! Did everybody leave after Earl when you traumatized? <laughs> Today, I turned 42 years old. Spending it with you fuckers. That's right. Uh, I also uh, jo am a United States Air Force veteran. Yeah, thank you. I joined the Air Force to see the world, and I got Mountain Home fucking Idaho. Yeah, ain't that some shit. Yeah, I know. Ugh. And uh, I have been happily married for 20 years. Thank you, thank you. I just stand up here to make myself feel better about myself. Uh, and uh, plot twist to a man. Yeah, don't let this flannel fool you. I like the dick, okay? Yeah, actually I love the dick, okay? He's at home taking care of our 10 kids. Yes, you heard me right. 10 kids, and no, we didn't ribbit the condom, okay? There's two things to do in Mountain Home, Idaho. Meth, which Earl, I'm pretty sure I saw you there. Yeah. Or procreate, and yeah, that's what I went with. Okay, okay. And not all 10 share our DNA, we are also Failed foster parents. Yeah, we adopted two. Thank you. Thank you. I just feel so good about myself. So I love chaos, obviously. And so my way of relaxing and decompressing is working in one of the busiest ERs in the nation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and my husband's really supportive about it. He was a little apprehensive, though, when he realized how much penis I see on a daily basis. But when I told him that there were more innies than outies, he accepted it a lot more, a lot more. It is! I, uh, you think I'm, I'm not bullshit? I Yeah, my name is very real. I'm not fucking around. I'm, I'm real, okay? And the other thing is, is uh, I just, I love working in the ER, I always find myself in the weirdest predicaments. Like the other day, we had a naked psych patient, also looked like Earl, that we had to restrain, and I found myself on his legs, like this, holding him down, right? And then I looked up and realized his wiener is flapping right there in my face. And so not only am I holding him down for dear life, but I'm also trying to prevent a mushroom stamp in the middle of my forehead. And that made for a real awkward conversation at home. Yeah, you know, you know, you know. The other thing that I need to tell you about healthcare, this is honest to God the truth. Everybody in healthcare cannot spell diarrhea confidently. Okay, that's why in all the charts it says loose or watery stool, okay? That's, that's truth, truth right there. But yeah, uh, because I work in healthcare, people think that's the reason why I have that conversation of the birds and bees with my kids, but that's not the case. It's because my husband's failed the first time. Yeah, see the thing is, is years back, we were practicing creating a sibling when one of our kids walked in on us, and I was horrified. I was horrified, yes, exactly. That's why I was like, oh shit, oh shit, this is bad. And my husband's like, don't worry, babe, I got this. And I was like, all right, go get him, tiger. So he goes downstairs, and I'm waiting to hear the, the screams of terror and horror, but I hear nothing. A few minutes later, he comes upstairs, and he's like, I've got it handled. And I was like, well, what the hell did you say? And he's like, well, they said, Daddy, what were you and Mommy doing? And I was like, yeah, what'd you say? And he said, well, I told them that we were playing Power Rangers and you were the pink Power Ranger. <laughs> and I was like, I mean, that's not the approach I would have taken, but uh, hey, if they bought it, let's go. That was until a week later when we had the neighbor girl over and I overheard my son say, you want to play Power Rangers in my bedroom? You could be the pink Power Ranger. And I was like, no! So from that point on, I was the one that had 
had that conversation with our kids. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, so you would think that I wouldn't be concerned that my son shaved his pubes the night before homecoming. But I was. I was really con I was really concerned. And the only reason I know is because my daughters were losing their shit because there were pubes all over the toilet seat. Yeah, boys are gross. Um, and as their, his mom, I was really torn because I was like, on one hand, this is the kid that I constantly have to remind to brush his teeth and brush his hair on a daily basis. And for once, he's grooming himself. But on the other hand, I'm too fucking young to be a grandma, so I filled this car full of condoms. And I'm really glad I did, because I think my son lost his virginity in the church parking lot. <laughs> yeah. If that's not a new meaning to coming to Jesus, I don't know what it is. <laughs> and I wasn't the parent that came to this realization. No, no, no. I was 10 games deep into beer pong when I got a text message from his date's mom saying, did you know the kids left the dance early and instead of coming straight home, they've been in the church parking lot for the last two hours? And I was like, don't worry, we're not gonna be grandmas. I filled his car full of condoms. And two hours, that's like a teenage boy record. <laughs> But that, that relationship did not last long at all. Yeah. I know, two hours. Yeah, you're like, yeah, I'll, I'll send the, I have to do a little manual. I have my son fill it out so you know how to do it right. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, I love being a parent. Uh, I especially love being that house that everybody shows up to my house, you know, and hangs out. The other day, my son asked if his blind friend could stay the night. And I was like, yeah, come on over. And every time he comes over, he has my son walk him through the house so he can take mental note of where the furniture is, how to get in and out of the house safely. And when they were done, my son decided to go outside and play. Uh, a few hours later, I decided I should probably check on the blind kid, because <laughs> I am responsible for him. I go outside, and no shit, I find the blind kid and my son 150 feet up in the top of an evergreen tree. And I'm like, what in the hell are you doing in the top of an evergreen tree? And no shit, the blind kid yells down to me, I wanted to see how far I could see from here. And I was like, the hell? Get your ass down. And when I say blind, it's not like legally blind, partially blind. No, this kid is blind, blind. And the shit's not attached, right? So when they finally, like two hours later, get down out of the tree, they come into the house. And my son decides to pull out the Xbox. And I'm like, how fucked up is my son that he wants to play Xbox with a blind kid? And then I realize I've never beat anyone with these sausage fingers. This is my chance. <laughs> so I said, hey, you want to play a game of Mortal Kombat? And he was like, sure. And then within 30 seconds, he beats my ass. <laughs> yeah, so the mature adult I am, I went over, I shook his hand in good sportsmanship, and then proceeded to go out to the living room and rearrange all the furniture. <laughs> yeah. Who's winning now, bitch? And that's why I'm a high quality parent. Thank you very much, everybody. You guys have a great day. Give up for Bree, everybody! You saw all six of the competitors, okay? We, the judges and I have a...